So let's talk about March 2020. Okay. Um, the Kia back then. <laughs> if, if you could go back to March 2020 and talk to Kia back then, what would you say to her? Don't be so comfortable. I was comfortable in life. I was comfortable um, in my marriage. I was comfortable with our financial situation. I was comfortable with our church. I was just comfortable. And in comfort, you cannot grow. You have to get uncomfortable in order to grow. It's not, growth is not a comfortable situation. Like, it's, it's uncomfortable, like, when you have a growth spurt, you have aches in your knees, you know, your ankles might hurt, whatever. Same thing when, when God is about to bless, you hit a dark spot that you feel like it's dark, but it's really not dark. It's just a place of uncomfortability. Like we don't know what's on the other side of the darkness. So it's kind of like fear. And are you going to let the fear stop you or are you going to let it push you into whatever God has for you next. And so I would tell me, don't allow fear to stagnate your growth. That's a good word. Um, this last year, were you comfortable? No. <laughs> no, I was not. Um, it was a perfect opportunity for growth. Yes, and I'm still growing, and I'm still learning from the things that we experienced, even from March to December. Like, I'm still learning how to deal with the new set of emotions that come with the things, the change of life, because life has drastically changed for our family. We lost three key family members from COVID, and so we had to find a new family dynamic to live without those people. And the emotion that comes from that loss not only that, but, you know, the emotion from um, being unsure about job situations and do you really trust God or is your job your source? Like, those are the type of questions that I had to ask me in order to grow from the things that we were experiencing because you, we didn't know what life was going to be like on the other side. We haven't made it to the other side, even as a country, but as a community even, you know, we still have high numbers. We still have people getting sick. We still have people that are not working because of it. So we still have growth to do. So as leaders of the church, I feel we have to get the foundation of being okay with being uncomfortable for a moment in order to be able to teach others that it's okay to be uncomfortable so that they can embrace their growth. We have to be willing to be uncomfortable. Yes, first. And embrace our growth mm -hmm. so that we can help others do the same. Yes, isn't that what Christ did? I, I think he <laughs> I think he did, yes. I, I believe, you know, I read something about a very <laughs> uncomfortable situation. <laughs> <laughs> and something along the lines of take up your cross uh, or, and follow me. Or if it's your will, take this <laughs> cup from me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, you know, in those moments, because I, I had a moment, like, when I got sick, I was like, okay, Lord, is this my time? Because... I don't think I'm quite ready yet. And, you know, he reassured me like, no, you won't perish from this, but you will learn. Mm. And I was like, hmm. ah, there goes that growth again. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you just have to, you have to be prepared to be uncomfortable because that's the only way growth is, in, is flourish, is able to flourish. So compare yourself to... 18 months ago. Have you grown? Yes. Yes, but I also have been, um, the veil has been lifted from my eyes where I can see areas where there is still much growth needed in me.